So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and put the flash drive into your computer that you want to create the server on and go ahead and boot from that. And as you can see that the screen is not uh, completely taken up, that, that will get fixed later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, use the entire disk and um, just press yes to all these because I did install it once before on this computer so I've let it go ahead and do um, the changes for this. It's usually not this long, it just usually just asks you to install it but because I've installed it already um, it's asking me all this information and as you can see it'll install the system it's asking me this uh, question about installing the grub uh, bootloader and I'm just going to go ahead and press yes and have it install it. The installation is very quick for this because it's a very um, streamlined version of Linux. Now I'm going to go ahead and reboot And it's going to do its reboot, and it's asking me to reboot my flash or to remove my flash drive. Not reboot, but remove my flash drive. And I'll go ahead and pause this until it starts booting up again. So it's booting up again. It's checking everything, and then it's asking for a root password. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a password. And then it also asks for a password for the Ajax Explorer, which I don't use. I just use Webman on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip this step right here. You can read through that later. And I'm going to go ahead and install any updates or so forth. Okay, so um, it's all installed, and now um, it's giving us it's given us a an IP address, and I'm going to go to the advanced menu, and this is where you can shut it down, you can reboot it, and you can go ahead and configure the network, and I'm going to do that. So. Um, what I like to do is I like to have our DHCP server give it a, an IP and then I make it a static IP. So this is what I do. I go ahead and press, press that and it goes out to the DHCP server, gets a static IP for me, and then, or I'm sorry, just gets an IP. Uh, it's not static at this point. Then I go to static IP here. I select that and um, leave all the settings the way they are because it gave it all the information that it needed and then I go ahead and hit apply and now it has a static IP so it's all set up now um, what I do is I get into Webman at this point and um, I go ahead and configure the server I'll give it a name and I'll start adding the users and so forth so this is how you install Turnkey Linux.